welcome back, guys. And I'm mad that Trey's sitting here trying to look sexy. I'm not, baby. I was focused. Maybe you got the sex appeal look on. Baby, I was focused. I was, you know, waiting. Okay, guys. Anyway, we're going to carry on, and I will read the next question, and I will let Trey go in with his answer. Oh, Jesus. It says, need you to advice. Me and my ex had a fight. It all started when she got a girl number, and I saw it. When I asked her, she said that that weren't a couple. We're not a couple. We're not a couple. Now, just a week later, she's in a relationship. I feel like she owed me answers, and I can't shake it. I do still love her. Please help. Go ahead, baby. So you Get saw... Mm. I shouldn't have to ask, but go ahead. Next time, I'm going to cut your scarf off. No, not that one, but I'm going to cut your scarf. Go ahead. Are we supposed to have make-out sessions? Mm -mm. Mm. No, I don't want to oh, kiss. Sure, no, she don't want to kiss me. Okay. Um, so this person wants an advice. They saw the ex get in. They had a fight. Okay. First of all, keyword ex. All right. Moving on. You saw her get in someone else's number. And you obviously asked them about it. And she said, we're not a couple. They say that they're not a couple. Her and, her and the ex. No, 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 no. When I asked her, she said that we're not a couple. Read it, baby. Baby. If you come and ask me, baby, why did I get this girl number and we need my ex? I'm going to say, we're not a couple. Baby. Okay. Baby. I'm going to go in because that's how I'm going to read it. this again. Need you to advise. Me and my ex had a fight. It all started when she got a girl number and I saw it. Mm -hmm. When I asked her, she said that we're not a couple. Now, just a week later, she is in a relationship. Okay. So she tried to deny getting the number. Well, not deny, but when she got the number, she tried to act like that they're not a couple. That's how I'm reading it. That's not how, That's not how you're reading it. No. That's why we're trans on you. Mm -hmm. We told y'all from All the beginning. night. We don't always agree on everything. Mm -hmm. So my baby is reading it as this girl is saying, you my ex, we're not a couple. So I'm reading it. Don't ask me. Sh right. And I'm reading it as this person who's getting the phone, who's getting the phone number is saying, I'm getting the number, but me and this, you know, chick ain't. We're not together, but in a week later, they're in a relationship. Now, this person is saying, I feel like she owe me answers, and I can't shake it. My question to you, and I always come back with questions. Why do you feel that your ex owes you answers? Exactly. This is your ex that you see getting a number. Blunt, uncut, as we said from the beginning. Get out of her business. Sorry. It's not your business what she's doing. Not trying to be mean in how I'm saying it, but this is your ex. Stay in your place because how would you feel if you would like her to come in your business? You're no longer together. So what she does, whatever number she gets, is her business. That's not yours. She doesn't owe you any explanations. Maybe there's more to this story that you're not sharing. And if so, please, you know, send in the other information. But based on your on your question, she doesn't owe you any explanation. You probably cannot shake it because, yes, you still have feelings for her. She says still to love her. You still do love her, but that doesn't mean that she needs to sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one, um, forum with you. You know, not forum, but one-on-one -on -one discussion with you. She doesn't owe you any explanation. This is something that she's doing. That's your ex. Well... I'm going to read it again and I'm going to elaborate a little bit more. And then I do want this person to please respond to make sure we're understanding your question. Because Trey received it one way and I'm receiving it another way. It seems like you and your ex had a fight. And it all started when she got a girl number and you saw it. Were you guys already an ex? I don't get that part. Right. That part kind of puzzles me. When you said you and your ex had a fight, it started when she got a girl number. You saw it. And when I asked her, she said that we're not a couple. I'm thinking as if she's saying to you, we're not a couple, so don't ask me about who numbers I'm getting. Now, if I'm correct, I'm going to speak on that part of it. If I'm incorrect, please, you know, send us another um, email and uh, explain us, making sure that we both understood your question. We need background And now she's saying just a week later, now she's in a relationship and you feel like she owes you answers. If you guys were together, then yes. As a relate in a couple, as a, as a couple, when she got the number, then yes, she did owe you an explanation. But if she was your ex and you saw her get a number from somebody and you wanted explanations, then no, she owe you zero. 
because you guys are officially done. When you use the word ex in front of girlfriend, you're you're no longer you no longer have ties together. She don't owe you any explanation. She don't owe you anywhere when she coming, where she going, and how she's going. That's no longer your business, and vice versa. But if you're stating that during the time you were together, she got a number, then yes, indeed, that was one disrespectful. Two, she did owe you some. She owed you an explanation, and three, you need some clarification. So that's why you asking. You feel that's why you say you feel. I feel like she owes me an answer, and I can't shake it. But I still do love her. Please help. Well, because you still love her, you're gonna. I, I could tell you're kind of going through the motions, mm. and now you're saying just a week later she's in a relationship. So it's like she jumped from you to the next relationship. You, she could be um, having a rebound relationship. That's not, that don't necessarily mean she's in a serious, wholeheartedly I love this person relationship because you and her probably just recently broke up. I don't know how long, but you guys probably just broke up. So my thing to you is, if she's officially your ex, let's do this. Go with the flow, you know, you do your thing, you let her do hers. Um, if she come and approach you and have any kind of conversations, then you're able to ask some questions. Only if what she did to you was when you guys were together. If you were no longer a couple, she don't owe you any explanations. So I would suggest that if she don't owe you anything and you know for sure that she don't owe you because you no longer were a couple when she got this person's number, leave it alone. You just let it go. Because you're only going to make yourself look foolish. Yeah. You really That's are. That's going to hurt and, you and, worse. And, and, and trust me, if you go at your ex trying to get all these questions, um, all these questions answered, whomever that she's with right now, she's sharing it with. Yep. And you don't want that. You don't want your, you don't want your, your name out there like that, man. This girl calling me, haunting me, all these questions. You don't want that. Yeah. Because most people, that's what they do. That's what they do. And don't be surprised that she's in a relationship a week after. We are in an, unfortunately, our our community has that bad stereotype yeah. of bouncing from one to the next. I'm guilty of it. I've, I mean, I've done it before. And, you know, I never try to act like I'm better than anybody else. But you live and you grow from your experiences. You know what I'm saying? So don't be shocked that she's in a relationship later. It could be a mask. For her, mm -hmm. for not trying to deal with get her. back at you. Yeah, she's probably not trying to or deal with that's her. That's a way to try to move on. Mm -hmm. You know, so don't 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 overthink the situation. Yeah. Deal with your emotions and get yourself together instead of worrying about what she's doing and who she's doing it with. But like my baby say, if y'all were together when she get the number, even if y'all were together when she got the number, I wouldn't go asking for no answers. It's too late now. I really wouldn't. She did it for a reason. She hurt you. It is for her to come to you and talk to you about that, not for you to go and find those answers. Take care of you. Don't worry about what she's doing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This is an anonymous person. And the question reads, my mate and I has a serious lack of communication. We will say we will stay on the phone for hours in silence. WTF. You know don't what that you, means? I know, but I don't, I'm really trying not to curse. Yeah, don't go in. You know, WTF, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Don't just sit there, say something. My question is, how do we bridge this communication gap? I try to talk about my day, but all I do is work and go to school. My days are pretty boring, and so is the sex. Oh, wow. Please help before I lose my sanity. Damn. 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 I'm laughing at how you read it. <laughs> I'm just saying. She made me go in well, with all this. stuff in all caps. My you go up to. Babe, what? Oh, boy. She said. Damn. Okay. Let's talk about the communication first. And we've talked about this in several segments and episodes. Baby, my days are pretty boring. And so is the sex. Well, we'll get to that. Damn. Okay. To this... Okay, guys, guys and gals, when you write in to us, don't you don't have to give us a book, but you can definitely give us a, enough information to go by so we'll know are you how how long have you been in a relationship? Two months, two years, five years, six months. Give us this a little background ongoing. first. Um, is this something new for your like, relationship that you guys have a serious lack of communication? This goes to all of our viewers. Help us out a little bit when you do send the questions in so that we won't assume because. What they say, you can be an ass or something when you assume. And we don't want to assume. We want to read verbatim what you put. So we already have a little bit of clarification of, 
understanding your relationship. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, we can only answer these questions based Based. on what we read. Exactly. Um, So I'm going to go with this. And my thing about communication is the number one key in a relationship. If you don't have that, you really don't have much. And and, and sex plays a big role too, but I get to that last. Um, You have a serious lack of communication. You say you guys can sit on the phone in dead silence. How in the world can you call that your partner, your husband, your wife, your mate, whatever, and you guys are sitting on the phone in silence. That means you have nothing in common. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on a second. Ring. Hello. Did you stop me in the midst of my... to, to act it out? Like, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you later. So that's how that conversation go, babe. I make light of situations. Yes, Trey, do. He had to act that out really quick. But let me go back in and then we'll let you have your spill, babe. Yeah. But no, seriously, guys. Um, to have a lack of communication, <laughs> I would give you that in the beginning of a, of a relationship if you're learning the person that you're with. I would give you that little bit of lack. But once you have learned who you're with and you understand their ins and outs, how they how to interact, how they conversate, when they get in moods or, you know, how, I mean, you've learned this part. You, you, you actually have gotten to know this person now. And this time to the communication should be very broad. You should never, ever have dead silence when you're on the phone, when you're in the room, when you're in the bed. We do pillow talk. Mm. I mean, we could talk on the phone. My baby could talk me halfway, you know, up the road to the mall or, you know, I could be around the corner. My baby could talk me all the way back home. She tell so, me my minutes, baby, my minutes. Yeah, and I could say, baby, my minutes. So, <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. The communication is very big in any relationship. And if you feel like it's one-sided, you're missing something. If you feel like that person is not giving you that communication that you need, you got to try to fi- got to try to find a way to break that barrier because you don't want to lose the relationship. It's because of communication. You want your relationship. So you got to see why are they lacking? Because you feel like if you feel like you're the talker all the time and they're lacking, find out why. Because I promise you, many, 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 many years ago. I was not, you know, very, I, I was not the communicator. I will, if you ask me some questions, I'm going to give you some answers. And that was it. Mm-hmm. I didn't elaborate. I didn't go far beyond the call of duty. I just kept it nice and simple because one, I, I think I strayed away from, um, arguing. I strayed away from heated discussions, debates. I didn't want to do any of that. It was nice point blank to the, to the, to the point. And at that time, sometimes it was either, you know, this is how I want it and that's it. I don't want to argue about it. I don't want to fuss about it. And that's it. So I didn't have a big communication. You know, I had very small communication back in the days. But as I got older and wiser, my communication brought. And so to, for you to um, come and ask us this, you need to go ask your partner, what makes them not have the communication that you need for for the relationship to work? But it seems like they're both not talking, babe. Because she uh, said, somebody got to be a communicator. But she says, I they try to talk to them because then they should be together. Baby, she said, I try to talk. It's dead silence. That means ain't nobody talking. Okay, well. She said, I try to talk about my day, but all I do is work and go to school. See, that's, she needs to send me, she needs to send some more information. My day somebody, out of two people, somebody has to be the big communicator. Trust me. In every relationship, somebody talks more than the other. I think Trey talks more than I do. It, I it, do. it just depends on the situation sometimes because and, sometimes yes. I'll go in and sometimes Trey will go in. Sometimes we chatter. equally yoked on it. Right. Her. Sometimes Trey just talks so much. It's just ridiculous. I do. And it's okay because I'm a chatter. And I have acknowledged <laughs> that. I'm a chatter. I'm a chatter. I've acknowledged that. I love to talk. Um, but I just Trey, don't talk Trey nonsense. Trey talks to strangers. Trey just like to talk. He don't care. It's, anyway, I, I got to hit on her last one, baby, about, red book about sex. My well, days are pretty boring and so is the sex. I'll, we're going to say damn and come back after this quick break. Okay. Sorry. Because damn.